Good morning, Beverly. How do you fancy a buffet breakfast at Planet Hollywood? Mm, I'm starving. Yeah, me too. I'm not entirely impressed with the weather at the moment. It's meant to be summer in Vegas, and this looks like winter in Iceland. Now, to be honest, I don't care what the weather's like. I just love Vegas just as it is. I'm gonna treat Bev to a taxi as the weather's not so nice. We're in shelter at the moment, but boy, does it rain in the desert. Thank you. Best company they want to build a hotel in London. Can so you say, can you say that again for my video? It's the first day for raining for how long? 142 days. 142 days, Jesus. Here we are at Planet Hollywood. That taxi driver was insane. He was really really nice. This buffet is meant to be exquisite. The glitz, the glamour. This place is gorgeous. Next time I come to Vegas, we're staying here at Planet Hollywood. Here it is. It's called the Spice Market Buffet. Fingers crossed we're in time for breakfast still. It's a really, really popular restaurant. The size of the queue is mad. So it's $17 for seven different international buffets. Beverly's being typical Beverly is starting with a dessert. <laughs> Strawberry and blueberry crepes. I've decided what I'm going to eat as well. I'm far more sensible than Bev. Yep, that's exactly what it looks like. French toast, pancakes, scrambled egg, fortune cookies and a pizza. Hey babe! Now that's what I call a breakfast. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fortune Cookie. <laughs> My fortune is give an inch and they take a mile. What the hell? This is amazing because of the time we've got here, they've started serving lunch now, so I'm going to get my lunch after my breakfast. This is bloody amazing. I love this buffet. If you ever come to Vegas, come here. What do you have for breakfast, babe? Cake. Yeah, cake. Oh, that was incredible. I bet you're tempted to come back here for lunch yeah, or dinner. I certainly am. Oh, well, that rain didn't last for long. It's still very hot though, and there's a lot of clouds out still. So, we're on our way back to the hotel because there's something we've got to do. I might seem bright and perky, but last night at 1.30 a.m., me and Bev were woken by three security guards. I'll show you some clips. It's 1.30 a.m. We've just been rudely awoken by three security guards being dragged down to reception. We've got no idea what's going on. The smug prick of the hotel manager says he's received a confidential email saying that we have committed fraud to pay for the room. Bev proves otherwise and we head back to bed after 13 minutes. That was slightly friggin' annoying. When we wake up in the morning, we're going to go back downstairs and see what free stuff they're going to give us for messing us around. Bedtime. So yeah, basically we nearly got kicked out of the hotel and we were accused of fraud. <laughs> so we're going back to the hotel now because they've accepted that they were wrong and we're going to see what free stuff they're going to give us. Nobody messes with me and my man. This is the manager's card that came and gave us that rude awakening and he says he's going to be there today. So it's him we're going to go and speak to. Your I can tell you what, Beverly was furious. I thought she was going to kill someone. Now we're back at the Venetian, let's go and raise some hell. We're marching like soldiers to the reception. Right, we're here now, I'll let you know how it goes. All done, we got apology, we got free stuff, so I'll show you in a minute. Well, we're back in our hotel room now, we got loads of free stuff, and it looks like the sun started shining as well. Have a look outside. Doesn't take long for it to clear up in the desert, does it? There's only a few clouds over there by the Rocky Mountains now. So, what did we get? We got $75 free meal somewhere in the hotel, which will get us a good meal, I should think. We also got two tickets to the Blue Man Group, and Bev got a $25 voucher to use on all the slot machines downstairs, which she's been doing like an old granny at the moment. I guess that's pretty fair. We probably could have got something more if we tried, but we're not going to. And, have a look at this other thing we got. You see this window here? Well, I've got a new iPhone case that sticks to windows, so I should be able to just go... Oh, and it sticks. No, it doesn't. Yes, it sticks. It's meant to work. That's enough time in the bedroom. We're going to head back out into the strip. There's so much to explore. We literally need a year to find everything about this place. It's about time we went and did a poker tournament, I think. I've played about four hours of poker since I've been here, but we haven't played a single tournament yet. Just cash games. Beverly, it's not heaven or anything. It's just a slot machine. A big one, though. 
Hee hee, go on there, waste some of your free credits on these machines. What's that baby lost? It's well a fun machine though, look at everyone watching it. Woohoohoo! Told you it was sunny around, bloody hell. <laughs> Alright. So we're just going across the road again to Treasure Island because there's a tournament on there. This is the view down to the end of the strip and you see that tower at the end, that's called the Stratosphere. There's three roller coasters on top of that which we should go on because I've been here four times before, I've never been up it. And now Bev reckons she's a pro on roller coasters, don't you? Right, onward to Treasure Island. So here we go, this is the Treasure Island poker room. And I didn't get very far, there's no tournament on till 7 o'clock so we're going to have to go somewhere else. Well then, what do we do now? <laughs> Bev suggested perhaps we walk down to the brand new hotel called The Area that's down the other end of the strip. Whee, bull fat man. We're on this escalator and it's bouncy, I kid you not. Look. It's like a trampoline. <laughs> Although, looking at signs, I don't think we're meant to be doing that. <laughs> Well, we didn't make it very far. We certainly did get to Aria. We're at Caesars Palace at the moment, and there's a poker tournament going on. Caesars has an absolutely lush poker room, and me and Bev have just signed up for this 3 p.m. tournament. We're late in, it's cost us a few dollars, and we're about to start playing. Doing all right? <laughs> we're just on a break at the moment. Bev's doing all right. How does it feel to be in your first real Vegas tournament? Scary. Uh -huh. We're both doing okay, but there's a lot of other stronger stacks at the moment, so we're going to have to sit out for the next hour or so and see what happens. Just while we're waiting for the tournament to start back up, have a look at this sports room. There's one of these in every casino. They're absolutely epic. I've never sat in one of them, and I've never bet on sports before. I'm a poker man myself. Break's over. Let's go back in and earn my wages. Good luck. Don't go out. You too. Whoops a daisy, we both went out, that's enough poker for us today. <laughs> and it will kind of average things up because I've won a lot in the last couple of days. Getting out of the dark indoors and going outside into the bright sunshine sounds like a great idea. Shall we carry on to Aria and see if we can find some food on the way? Yes. Yep, you heard uh, back to the plan. We're going to carry on down the street like we were doing and go to Aria. On the way to Aria, we got stuck in the Bellagio and look at this, we feel like honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> There's massive flowers, butterflies, ants, all sorts of stuff. This is bizarre. Bev's going crazy with the camera. She's like, oh, what's the thing to the Pikachu? And a bit further inside, this is absolutely famous and incredible ceiling. Yep, you guessed it, she has taken the Pikachu. More photos, Bev. What is it this time? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. It's one of these big kick-ass buildings, apparently. I'm not sure which one, though. There it is, Aria. I can just about see the name on top. And now we're here. I think it's a good idea to get some grub. Yeah, we found a vegetarian tapas menu. Gutting! A place called Julian Serrano Tapas. Oh, it's so cute. You get your own little vegetarian menu. Yeah, asparagus, risotto, tortilla, mm. This is absolutely amazing. La Tapas has got nothing on this place. We've already had three dishes already, so I can't show you, including white asparagus. Look at my cheese board. Oh. Babe, tell me, how are the stuffed peppers? Better than what? Oh, just we finished. That tasted like God's vagina. It was the best meal I've had in Vegas, ever. And for you, babe, how was it for you? It was like Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay got together and had a baby. <laughs> Twins, triplets. I don't get to say these things, I promise. Hi, chef people. Yeah, that was well. really tasty. Oh, thank you. Right on top. Can't see anything topping that soon. I'm going to need to get some cake now, though, a patisserie or something. This is incredible. Have a look at the dramatic light Beverly and I have just found in Aria. We've been taking photos here for about half an hour. Look at the sort of images I could pick up here. It gives me a semi. 
You're getting some good ones, babe. I take the non-replies. Yes, Sam, I am. I think we've had enough fun and we're going to have to stop now, otherwise we'll be here all night. You know, this area really is nice. It's like a geometric hotel. It's just the sort of stuff I love. Everywhere you look, there's obscure shapes and lines and angles and spirals and stuff. Oh. Let's see what the cash poker's like in this place. The cash games here are really quick and easy, I like them actually. Bev's gone for a wonder taking more photos. She says she'll take me home when she gets back. East Jack, he had East like 10, suit is 10. Ah, another successful bit of pokerage. Hello, thought I'd find you sooner or later. There's the money. Poker enables us to live in Vegas. We wouldn't be able to do it without it. I guess a lot of you don't realise poker's not just a game of luck, it's where you've got to pit your wits and your skills against other players and not the dealer. And that's where I can make money because I've been playing it long enough to know how to read the other players and there's a lot of losers and tourists around here. Okay, my little princess, I'll treat you to one chocolate thing and then we go home to bed. I'm going to have one of them disgusting looking things and Bev's going to have one of them disgusting looking things. Oh, I tell you what, I am really tired. It's approaching the middle of the night and she's still taking bleeding photos. What of this time? Bloody telephones. What's so nice about this? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, I can take a picture of you. Here's Sam, he always gets stopped and asked. People don't know how lucky they are. Because we're carrying around cameras everywhere, we keep getting stopped and asking to take people's portraits. We're like, yeah, okay, then we mess up the photo for him. Vegas at night time, there's just nothing else like it. And you know what, I think that's a good enough view to finish up the video for today. So yeah, it's day 247 of 365. We're not fraudsters, although we got blamed for it. And we got loads of free stuff for it. We made money on poker, it's been a really good day. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow, but make sure you tune in. See you later, bye. <laughs> the Draggers in Newport haven't got a patch on the Draggers in Vegas. Look at this fat git, he's even got a moustache, he's amazing!